ladies and gentlemen, that's right, it is a FIFA 13 career mode episode today, episode 16, the season continues, and I'm your host Lee, and to be quite frank, this episode is jam-packed with games from the Barclays Premier League, and the first game is against Norwich, now I expect to beat Norwich, because, you know, they're owned by possibly one of the most evil women in the world, so... Yeah, we should beat them. We've still got Honda out, which is kind of annoying, so Craig Gardner's the captain still. But we've got a powerful squad. We've got um, De Gea, uh, Anichibi, uh, Gibson, Barkley, Adrian, Martins. Yeah, we should destroy Norwich. And as you can see, the Barclays Premier League table, we are currently fourth and on 49 points with a game in hand over Chelsea. Uh, so I'm looking forward to hopefully winning this game and getting above them. So let's get straight into the action, shall we? And we'll pick it up here with Martins, who passes it to Gibson. And Gibson is through on goal. He has a cracking shot, and Ruddy does a double save on this highlight reel, which is fantastic. But we get a corner from it, and guess who is in the box to finish? And Nietzsche B. What a goal on the 16th minute. Look at this. Just follows the ball and volleys it. Look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. But then this happens, ladies and gentlemen. We continue to pour on the pressure and Martins is released. Now, what is Martins going to do? Unfortunately, a little bit of sweat, but I'm going to take it because that is Adrian. That's right. Adrian, our Brazilian wonder kid, getting a goal in this game and we'll pick up the highlights here and we have Martins picking it up and look at this for a drive but Ruddy again doing an amazing save so we go into half time with a 2-0 lead so I'm looking really really you know positive about this because you know it's Norwich what's the worst thing that can happen time and time again stuff like this happens here we go we've got a cross and look at that someone out jumps Glenn Johnson again and it's uh, Morrison actually who out jumps him which is kind of frustrating but it's a well good header I'm not going to complain there but here we go we'll pick it up the action here and Morrison again causing us problems still problems look at this I don't know what happened with uh, Craig Garner but the referee calls a penalty I don't know why you would do that but it looks like a freak accident so it's De Gea versus this guy I can't even pronounce what will happen De Gea saves it. What an absolute mug. Let's look at this. What a terrible penalty to do. What an absolute mug. You've got to feel ashamed, mate. You should have buried that. On the 88th minute, you should have scored, but you didn't. And we go on to win 2-1 thanks to De Gea. That's right. Even though he looks like a llama, he's an absolute beast. So, we're going to get straight into the next game. And, yeah, we're against Reading. Now... Reading have a decent-ish squad, but like Norwich, I want to destroy them. So, we'll pick up the action here. As you can see, we're about to just start walking out of the tunnel. And we'll get straight into the first highlight. And actually, it's straight from the kickoff. Look at Adrian. So, he's gone round one. He's gone round two. He's gone round three. He's gone round four. He's gone round five. And then there's a save. I just thought of showing you that, because... Adrian's just got pace for days. But anyway, here we go. Adrian again unleashed and unleashes Ludstram. And Ludstram can't finish his dinner and he blasts it straight at the keeper. But here we go. We pick up uh, the play here with Redding. And I think that's Leecherwood or whatever his name is, is unleashed. And he crosses it. And yeah. I didn't want to concede a goal so soon. But it is a very weak header. And as you can see, yeah, De Gea should have had that. Yeah. It's it's painful. Thanks, Llama. But anyway, we'll pick up the action here, and we are, have a throw in, and it is thrown to Veloros, and it's then to Adrian, and then look at this. What a strike by Darren Gibson on the 33rd minute. Look at this. This is a fair bit out, and look at that rocket. No one is going to stop that. But then straight from the kickoff, look at this. Reading are completely confused, and Gibson is unleashed. He has a one-on-one. -on -one. He shoots and actually hits the bar, which is so unbelievably unlucky. 
but we'll pick up the action here again and Veleros on the far side is going to cut in and he's going to pass it to Martins. Martins gets shot but then look who's there again. Gibson is having the game of his life. Look at this for a tidy finish. Nice little bouncing volley into the bottom corner and we go into the half time break 2-1 up and Darren Gibson is blatantly the player of the match for me at the moment but as you can see look at this bad defending a little bit of cheese and unfortunately Reading score if you watch the replay carefully the ball bounces off De Gea's forehead which was really really unlucky here we go look at this right off his forehead and unfortunately my capture card decided to screw up a little bit but now because um, some of my players are actually tired I had to bring on some players and so here we go, we'll pick up the action here and Reading just kept causing me problems. So we pick up the action and we give it away cheaply, but we try and get it back, but still we can't do anything about it. It's just getting frustrating at this point. And as you can see, Reading are just piling on the pressure and then I don't know what happens to the capture card, but somehow they get a penalty and they score. And my capture card is going absolutely crazy, as you can see. Yeah, my apologies, but that's just very, very frustrating when my capture card does that. And unfortunately, guys, we lose that game 3-2, which is a big loss. The plus side uh, from losing that game, unfortunately, uh, we get Gageu back. He is going to return to training, which I'm really excited about because we have been missing him in our squad for a very long time. And also, uh, Honda actually wants to play um, uh, the next match against uh, a team which we'll get up to uh, but unfortunately I do not want to injure him he is just yeah he's Honda he's a beast I don't want to hurt him but then because we are going against Man City guys look at this Daniel Agger is going to be facing his former club and you knew as soon as I said Man City that it was going to be a tough game and to be quite frank as well, the papers were all over Daniel Agger uh, making his return to Everton. So we'll pick it up here. And as you can see, Daniel Agger, all the media is on him and see what we can do. And as you can see, Man City are above us by one point. But they do have a game in hand over us. But hopefully we can come away with a win. So we'll pick up the action here. And we have Martins passing to Gibson, who is playing like an absolute tank right now. And then look at that little bit of skill. And then Gardner to Martins, and you know what's going to come. Boom. 1-0. But look at... Uh, I can't get over how amazing Darren Gibson um, did Daniel Agger. Look at this. Just look at that. 1-2. Oh, look at that. And passes it off. Look, I just 1-2. There we go. Oh, just, every time you see it, it just gets better and better. But here we go. We'll pick up the action here. And Martins actually pays a through ball to Adrian. Adrian passes it to Martins. And then Joe Hart does a phenomenal save as he always does and unfortunately this for highlight was pretty crazy as well because Joe Hart doesn't clear it properly and Martins has another rocket and Joe Hart just punches it away he's like Superman or something but anyway we'll pick up the action here and Mycon to Torre and Torre plays it back to him and Mycon has a shot and it hits the post and by the, when this hit the post I was absolutely cacking it because it's Man City they have a lot of talent and they are very, very good in this game. And we went into half-time with a one nothing lead, and we were hanging on uh, towards the end of the first half. So we'll pick up the action here, and Barkley releases Martins again. Martins is just so quick. And here we go. We've got Barkley. He returns the ball. Adrian does a through ball, and Anichibi... <sighs> he just can't finish his dinner, unfortunately. And then this happens. We have an attack with Darren Gibson, and it goes straight to Barkley. And look at this, it pimples around. Martin, one, two, and then has another shot, three, and is denied. And then we have, um, pick up the replay here, and we just lose out in possession, and Jekko actually runs over the ball. And then look at that for a through ball to Aguero, but De Gea is there. Whew. But as you can see, again, Man City just tackling us at the last minute, and Jekko here just unleashes Sinclair. Unfortunately, I miss with Leighton Baines. And look at Sinclair just going miles wide. And Subatic is just going to take the ball off that youngster. 
But as you can see, Man City just kept getting the ball back and forth. And what a through ball that is by Sinclair. But guess who's back in time? Johnson. I can tell you now, I'm so happy I have a little bit of pace at the back. But here we go. We'll continue the play. And Martins does a through ball to Gibson. And Gibson's going to drive. He's going to pass it to Gardner. And Gardner's going to keep it. And Martins is going to have a shot, which is very pitiful. And my controller dies. Which is quite comical. And that's how the game finished, guys. 1-0 to us. Better than drawing. Because the last game we played against them, we drew 1-1, which was, you know, quite for unfortunate. You know, uh, they scored in, I think it was the 90th minute with Aguero, but we played amazing. Moving on, uh, the newspapers had uh, some uh, badness to say towards me due to saying that Honda missed out on a win. But like I said, it's Honda. I don't want to injure him at all. And then as you can see, the papers also picked up that there was no love lost between Daniel Agar and us. And unfortunately, yeah, he he was on the losing team. And yeah, we booed him and all that jazz. But also to add insult to injury, Gibson made you look like a 35-year-old. So it's all good. But there, as you can see it, guys, that is the next episode Um tease if you will we are against Chelsea in the FA Cup quarter final what a game that is going to be I kid you not so guys I want to thank you for watching this episode it's much appreciated it seems that I'm getting a lot of looks at these videos recently so thank you if you've enjoyed it don't forget to like the episode a like is always appreciated and it really goes a long way for other people on YouTube to view these videos which I take a lot of time uh, to put together and if you've enjoyed watching it, guys, you can click the jersey right now to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to view any more of my content on my channel, you can click the logo below. But until next Saturday, guys, take care. And oh, yeah, have a good one.